And well, a notoriously dangerous street in Eugene is about to get safer for drivers and pedestrians. City officials say Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard is known as a high crash corridor. But as KZI 9 News reporter Jennifer Singh shows us, city officials are hoping new changes will, will make it safer. I mean, I know I've slammed on brakes a lot of times, but I've known some people to just kind of coast through. Um, and I know that some pedestrians wait, but I also know that, you know, you never know what could happen, especially with a lot of people walking around the Autzen Stadium. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard right behind Autzen Stadium in PK Park is a five lane road with two travel lanes in each direction plus a center turn lane. City officials say that's more than needed for the number of drivers that typically drive through. According to city officials, this current layout gives drivers more freedom with less traffic, which leads to risky behaviors like speeding, erratic lane changes that can and have resulted in serious crashes, injuries and fatalities. Between 2007 and 2021, there were four fatalities and 26 life changing injuries because of crashes on this stretch of road. I see a lot of people that uh, don't obey the stop sign or the stoplight and they just turn right without even looking. Crews will start construction on MLK to address these concerns this spring and summer. It's part of the MLK Junior Boulevard Transit and Safety Project. The project will at a crosswalk brighten the bikeways with green color at driveways and intersections and repurpose the outside travel lane in each direction as dedicated bus and turn lanes. City officials say bus and turn lanes like those seen in the EMX system help the buses operate more smoothly, but also visually narrow the streets to reduce speed. There's a lot of apartments, a lot of families. I know kids get dropped off at the bus too. Um, so I just think maybe not kicking up so fast until they're past that point would be probably a little safer. City officials say they're hoping to not only decrease the number of overall crashes, but reduce the severity of injuries in crashes as slower speeds may reduce impact. They're also hoping to get permission from ODOT to reduce the speed limit altogether. Something neighbors are hoping will put a stop to dangerous driving. Uh, more people obeying the traffic laws. In Eugene, Jennifer Singh, KEZI 9 News.